Hello, Hobbyist. Scott Page here, and I want to respond today to a lot of the questions that come in from people who are just getting started with the OpenTX because it's a little different way of thinking about things. You have to think in terms of what co what's going into the transmitter and what you want coming out. And this applies specifically with the sticks and the mixer. Now, whether you're doing the transmitter interface or whether you're using Companion, it makes no difference. It's still the same. Now, first of all, sometimes people look at the order that these are in on sticks and they think that that's important. It's not. It simply corresponds to the literal sticks on the transmitter and your input on those sticks. So rudder is corresponding to the input from the left stick horizontal movement. In flying mode 2 like I do, where it has elevator, this is corresponding to the right stick vertical movement. And throttle, left stick vertical movement. And aileron, right stick horizontal movement. If I leave these alone, then I'll have no change of rates. It'll just be single rates and no change of expo. But let's say I want to change some expo or change the rates. Then I'll go ahead and I'll add a change in my input. So now when my input comes in, if I go ahead and put a switch on this so that A is in the back position and I add 60% expo, now what happens is when I switch A into the back position, I'm going to get 60% expo and I'll have 100% rates. If A is not in the back position, I'll still have 100% rates, but the expo won't be at 60%. This is just added expo. Let's go ahead and add another line. And this time, let's go with 75 and 50. But we need a switch on this, so I'm going to put when the switch is A in the middle. So now, when A is in the up position, I have 100%, which is the default anyway, and 60% expo. When A is in the middle, I now have my input is reduced to 75% and 50% expo. If we were to add one more line, and let's make this also 75%, and let's go with expo of 30. And again, I need to put a switch. Now, when A is in the down position, I'm going to have 75% throw with 30% expo. Now, A is always going to be in the up, middle, or down position. So now, I'm always going to have control of the amount of throw and expo that my aileron has. And this applies to the other channels as well. Again, think about it as your input and what you want input into the transmitter. Mixes is what's going out. This is what happens uh, on the way out. So channel one corresponds literally with going out to channel one on the receiver. So in this case, I have rudder. I don't have to have rudder here. I could go ahead and set this up so it's aileron on channel one and I could put rudder on channel four. Now the only thing this means is that when I go ahead and hook up my rudder on my receiver, it better be on channel four and hook my ailerons up to channel one. So how do I go about mixing channels together? A lot of people won't want to have a little bit of rudder mixed in with aileron for a coordinated turn. So they want to do something in the aileron channel, but really, no, you don't. You want to think in terms of what's the output? When I use my aileron, I want my rudder to move too. So I need to go to the rudder, which is the output, and I'm going to add some aileron. Hey, think about this. I'm going to add some aileron. Now, when I move my aileron, my ailerons are going to move, and my rudder is going to move also just a little bit. Okay? So if I look and to simulate this, I move my aileron. And you can see down in channel 4, my rudder's moving a little bit as well. Right down here in channel 4, rudder moves a little bit as well. Now, it may be going the same direction, and I may want to have opposite rudder to control the roll, in which case I'll go in here and just change this to a negative 10. And now to simulate it, when I give my right aileron, you see the rudder going over to the other direction. Okay, one more time. Let's do another one. I've got a model that when I increase the throttle, it wants to climb. So what I want to have happen is when I increase the throttle, I want to add some down to it. More throttle, a little bit more down. So it's the throttle that I'm inputting, but I want my output to be on the elevator. So I'm going to go in and add throttle in my elevator channel. And again, very small amount. I can put this on a switch too. So if I don't like it, I get up in the air and I go, oh, wow, this is totally wrong. I can just kick it off. So I'll put it on the B switch. Now, let's simulate this. Let me go ahead and fix my X so my rudder doesn't move here. And when I move my throttle up, you can see here my elevator has moved as well. 
When I move my throttle down, my elevator is moving. Okay, so that's what you want to have happen. You want the elevator to move a little bit to help compensate for the tendency of the aircraft to rise as it gets more throttle. So that's how you mix it in. So this gives you complete control over what the model does if you just think in terms of what you want output on the mixer and what you're inputting on the sticks. 